Now we're going to learn about Google Presentation. You want to be on the main drive screen, which is this screen here. Very easy. What we're going to do is we're going to click on Create. We're going to find the presentation application, which is this yellow one here, and you want to click it. It's going to open up a new window. Okay. So first thing we need to do is choose a theme. There's many themes to choose from. As you can see, I'm going to go with the first one just for the purpose of showing you. So all you're going to do is click it, make sure there's a blue box around it, and click OK. And then it'll bring us into our presentation. OK, as you can see, this looks very similar to PowerPoint got a file here which you can make a copy, rename, open another one, edit, view. This is where you would go to present it. Animations, make it bigger or smaller for your screen. Zoom in, zoom out, and then full screen down at the very bottom. Underneath the insert box is where you're going to find to enter a text box because we can't just simply text or type text onto a blank document. You can add images in here, videos, word art, different lines, different shapes. Underneath the shapes there's many drop down menus. We have a lot of shapes underneath there. Different styles of arrows, call outs, which are the little thought bubble type things, and equations. And you're also going to find add a table in here. To simply add a table, all you need to do is select however many columns and rows that you want. You can add comments, new slides, and import slides on here as well. The next drop down menu we have our slide. Add a new slide, duplicate the slide, delete your slide. You can change your background, apply a layout. To apply a layout, it's just you have a title slide, title and bond body, compare and contrast pretty much, title only, this one you would use with pictures, captions you can use with pictures, and then blank. And then we can change the transitions through this menu as well. Underneath format, this is more so for text. It's not going to let me do anything because I do not have any text selected. Arrange as well. Tools, you have a spelling check, research, and definitions. And then we have a whole <clears throat> table section here. Once again, you can add tables through here, and then you can edit them. And then the help menu. Okay, so let's begin. I'm going to type in the title presentation, just for purposes of showing you. Now if you wanted to change your font, all you would have to do is click up in here. We have <clears throat> a bunch of different little things up in here, but I'm going to focus on the font ones. So I'm going to change it to a different font style. If you don't highlight it, it will not change it for you. So we want to highlight, drop down menu, and choose your font. And I'm going to change the size by this one here. You can make it bold, italics, underlined, and then this one is the text color. Whatever color you like. Okay, so we have our first slide here, which is our title slide. I want you to put your title and your name on it, so I will put my name on it. Alright, so now we see our first slide here is done. Now if we wanted to change the background, all you would have to do is hit change background, which is this button here whatever color you would like, or you can do an image. I'm going to do a color. Very easy. Okay, now there's several different ways that you can add on a different slide. You can click this button here, or you can hit insert. Oh, I'm sorry, not insert, slide. New slide. Then here, 
You can do a different slide. You can change the format of the slide. We'll do text only. Okay, so on the text only slide, you want to enter in text. I'm just entering in hello, my name is for purposes of showing you. And then you can also add in a picture. You want to go to the insert, image, and then to insert an image, there's many different options. You can take a snapshot by URL, which is pretty much searching through Google. So I'm going to do that. And we're going to type in flowers. Oh, I'm sorry, not URL. Search. There we go. Now I'm going to type in flowers. And let's see, we're going to pick just a random picture here that I like. We'll do this one. You know it's selected by the blue check mark here and a blue around the edge. Now it's simply not going to be put into our slide yet. All we have to do is hit select to put it into our slide. Oh, you may get this message once in a while. Error, the selected image is unsupported format. All you're going to want to do is hit close. We'll try again for a different image. Insert again, image. Let's try this one. Hmm, you may get this a message. That's okay though. Trial and error. Everybody's learning here. Let's try this one. I don't know why it's not working. Let's try changing the content. We might need to do this. <clears throat> so we're going to click on image again. Just a flower again. There we go. Now you see how it's covering the whole slide. We don't want that. We want to make sure the image is selected. By making sure it's selected, we can resize the image to a size that is appropriate for the slide. We know that it's selected by the blue around the outside, just as before. So all we're going to do is we're going to drag in. And then if you don't like it where it is, you can just click it and you can drag it wherever you like. There. Perfect. Alright, now we're going to do another slide. All right, so we're on a different slide again. I'm gonna change the layout by clicking the layout. We're gonna do title and the column, which we can do compare and contrast. And I'm just gonna call it colors. Now my font is not centered and I kind of want it to be because it is the title of the slide. We're gonna click this align button here, bring down a drop down. This one is the left align center align, right align, and we have justify. The main three that we focus on are these three here. And I'm going to click the center. Here I'm going to type in different colors. Pink, orange, blue, green. And then I'm going to click over here to enter in more colors. Purple, yellow, black, and white. Very easy, very simple to do. Okay, next we're going to do another slide. Once again, new slide. I'm going to change the layout again. We're going to do a blank one just to show you there's nothing on here. Now if we wanted to enter in anything on here, you could click the insert button. You could draw a text box. Simply to do this, all you need to do is click and drag, however big you would like it. Very easy, simple. Okay, 
going to do one more slide. All right, here I'm going to change the layout one more time to a caption one. Down here I'm going to put having fun in the sun. And now I'm going to insert a picture in here as well. Insert image and then I'm going to search in here sun. Search. Lots of different images come up. I'm just going to pick this one here. Select. Once again, it's too big, so we need to resize. Click it, make sure it's blue around the edges. And we're going to go slide it to make it smaller. And I'm going to move it over. And that's that. We're going to go over a lot more of this in detail once we're working on it together. I just want to show you the basics. Now, I want to add transitions into my slides. So I'm going to click on the Change Transitions button. There's none applied to the entire slideshow yet. I'm going to click down, and then you can pick whichever one you like. I like the cube. And then we're going to want to apply it to all slides. And then we can exit out of it. As you can see up here, all of your changes that you've made are saved automatically. There's no need to worry. All right, and now I'm going to retitle my presentation. All you need to do is click on the Untitled Presentation up at the beginning there, and then you title your document whatever you would like, whatever it's going to be called. And hit OK. And that's it. That's a little bit of the basics. Like I said before, we're all going to go over this together because it's a lot to look at and a lot to take in. So we're going to have a lot of fun with this.